just to introduce my poem, um, I know this month's theme is protest, right? That's right. Basically, um, this poem, like, kind of inspired by, like, uh, I guess the most sort of casual form of protest is just existing as something that other people don't like. So that's what this bad boy is about, and it's based kind of on my own experiences of being a transgender person. So if that's going to trigger you, I guess evacuate now. <laughs> anyway, I guess let's go. <laughs> Have you heard of the were-man? He is not what you might think, the inverse, perhaps, of a werewolf turning from wolf to man, but instead a man who appears only at the full moon. When the time comes, a creature not quite this or that makes its way out of the dark to a spotlight of moonbeams, and he presses palm to palm as the bleaching night lays him bare. Have you heard of the were-man? Most do not believe in him. They say, how can he exist when there was no man before? How can a man be real when he cannot be seen? My mother does not believe in the were-man. She says he is made up. She says, moonlight leads to madness, and that looking straight at the moon at night has driven me to new realms of foolishness. She begs me to look away, but even in the day the temptress remains, and it calls to me. Have you heard of the were-man? His love song to the sky that enlightens him, to the night time that sets him free. How he lives in a house near you, and how he lives in me. Have you heard of the were-man? And have you heard his insistent cry? I'm a guy, I'm a guy, I'm a guy. <laughs> and have you heard the tremendous crack of his heart at the break of sunrise? Have you laid a head on his smooth chest, run a finger along his jaw? Have you laid in his bed in wonder at the madness of it all? And have you heard of the were-man, the myth and the legend? Have you wondered where he goes? And have you seen him in his daytime disguise, weighed down by women's clothes? Have you heard of the were-man, how he hides in plain sight? Have you heard his name whispered on the wind and wondered if he just might be exactly what you need to be? Have you heard he lives in the city because eyes blink on busy streets, they do not watch what they see? And have you heard, have you heard of the were-man? And what you hear do you believe? This is called Moving Forward. I feel like I keep messing up in the same ways. I guess my personality just lends me to certain kinds of mistakes. Because I keep trying to make things right by making them worse. Because the facade of being perfect is, being better than knowing, is better than being known for being the worst. Sometimes I find I'm so afraid of life because I don't want to fuck things up on the first try. I'm the kind of guy who needs to get it right every time because my mistakes haunt me and my stumbles trip me up. So here I am in my stasis, unable to accept my status, and I'll keep digging this hole until I'm under. I'm fixable, I'm that wonder. But real boys are not tributes to statues, and there's no way forward in holding back. So each move I make is an attack, an attempt to move on from my past, and I'll keep moving and I'll keep on proving until I'm on, right on track. <laughs> 